and you want to do some awesome things with him. So I pray for college. I pray that you make his path straight and everything he wants to do. I pray that he will produce in all the things that he does. And I pray no stress with that stuff either. I pray complete peace. And also pray for his family. I don't know, bro, if you got any ministers on your family, on your, on your, on your, your mom or dad's side. But I do. I see ministry as a thing that's in your bloodline. So I just pray even ministry to come up on your life. And for you to have the breakthrough that you need to be successful in all things you do. In Jesus' name. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Michael, Thank man. All right. That's Thank cool. you. What about you? You need prayer? I'm good. You sure? Mm -hmm. Nothing specific? Why do I see something with dance? Do you dance? <laughs> yeah. You do dance? Yeah. What kind of dance do you do? Um, well, a little bit of everything. Yeah? I was seeing, I was hearing that in my heart. You know, when I was looking at you, something with dance. Yeah, I do. Is that like going to be your profession? No, I want to be a nurse too. You want to be a nurse? Mm -hmm. But you're doing something with dance now? No, it's like in school. Oh, okay. Yeah. What kind? What, in school? Yeah. Well, I'm in high school. Right? Oh, you're still in high yeah. school? Yeah. Okay. You're up here in college. You can pray, you can pray into something with that. Mm -hmm. You can do anything with dance. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Can I pray for you? Is that cool? Yeah, you can. Okay. If you want to. Yeah, that's okay. fine. What's your name? Lauren. Lauren. Father, I thank you for Lauren. I believe you showed me something with dance for a reason. So, Lord, I pray even with dance that you'll bless that, Father, and that you'll do things that will worship you with dance and bring people closer to your heart. And, Father, I also pray that you'll draw closer to her with the Father's heart and you'll draw closer to her in relationship, Lord, because I know that she needs the nearness of a father. So, Father, I just pray that you'll just draw near to her, show her what that good father looks like, and bless her, and let no burdens be upon her life. In Jesus' name. And I even feel like this. I feel like the Lord is saying He's going to give you sleepless, sleepful nights. So, you know. Yeah, I go to church and yeah. I, I'm just tired like, to get back on it and stuff. Yeah. But as your nights, are you sleeping? No, I'll be night? waking up like in the middle of the night. I'm over there. Like, I'm on time. Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like, Yeah, the Lord was telling me He's going to bring peace back into your sleep. Yeah. I know it's crazy. It's weird me out, but, you know, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. You know? Can I pray one more thing? One more thing, okay. Don't, don't be weirded, I know, real quick. Okay. Lord, I pray right now that thing, that stress, that anxiety that's keeping her up at night, I pray it will leave her life. And I pray right now, Lord, that you will live her sleep a good eight, six to eight hours at night. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, man. It's all words and knowledge, you know? Lord speaks to our heart, tells us stuff about God's children, and we pray. That's it, man. Thank you. you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Revival in Crane's Roost, episode six, Supernatural Life. We love you. I'm here today to answer a question from my friend here on the Supernatural Life, Reagan Paul. You asked me, how do I receive words of knowledge from the Lord? It's a loaded question. <laughs> that is a loaded question because there's many ways you can receive words of knowledge from the Lord. And, they, and the words of knowledge come in many different ways also. Just so you guys know, um, words of knowledge is one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit that's located in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And you see words of knowledge in operation with me and others on this channel all the time. It's one of the, I'd say one of the best yes. gifts we probably use, you know. And it, it really works awesome with the prophetic too. You know, words of knowledge is a prophetic revelatory mm -hmm. gift, you know. So the way I hear words of knowledge is obviously I have to be in relationship with Jesus Christ to hear his voice. The Bible says that his sheep hear his voice. So I got to know that I am his sheep. Identity is everything when it comes to hearing the voice of the Lord. I have to believe that I, he'll actually speak to me. And then, you know, words of knowledge come in thought sometimes. They come through. They just come through really fast. Like I could be walking next to somebody and they could go, it, the words could come, man's got a bad back or car wreck three years ago or anemia or something some word will come through where the Lord wants to do something and it could cause healing it could cause deliverance it could cause salvation to happen it could cause a lot of things to happen it can come in sensations in the body you could have a feeling of something in the body you know that you could if you're not careful say it's yours but it's really not it's somebody else's 
um, atmospheric things, you know, coming in feeling heaviness. That means that there's a depressive spirit in the room or a heavy spirit in the room. What's another way? Thoughts, impressions, uh, visions, you know, seeing visions through your imagination. The Lord speaks through that, you know, and just, I think they're pretty much, that's pretty much the three, three major ways of getting words of knowledge. Yeah. Anything you can think of? No, that's yeah, right. I mean, there's probably others, but there, there are three big ones. Um, you just got to be in a relationship, pay attention, and believe. Jesus says, only believe. And if you believe, all things are possible to those who believe, mm -hmm. you know? So I hope this answers your question, Reagan. You guys remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about it. And I got some cool perks getting ready to come to this channel, too, for you guys who want to be members of the supernatural life. We're going to set that up here pretty soon too. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be some footage that I don't normally release on here. Some, some hidden footage of maybe some sessions and stuff that have went on in the past that I'll release. Um, you know, give you guys a first-hand look. Give you something to look forward to if you become a member of the channel. Perks for people who are wanting to be members, you know, prayer, all that, all that stuff. There's just going to be a lot of good stuff. So I don't want to just say something and then not be on there, but we're going to have plans, you know, <laughs> we're going to have plans. So Can anyway, sure. shoot for it. Um, just about the words of knowledge thing. I just think that you need to trust the voice that you're hearing. You need to trust yourself. I know in the past that I've struggled with thinking that it's only me, you know, and you'll never know if you don't shoot for it and try. So usually Daniel always says that it's usually the first thought that comes through, not the second or third, just to trust your first, you know, I don't want to instinct, but it's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. So if you hear it and you're like, oh, that's too basic or that's just me, just shoot for it anyways. You'll never know if you don't try and, and find out that way. It's just something that you can grow in by, you know, hearing that first thought and never think it's just too basic or it's just you or you're just, you know, um, something like that so just you know go with what you know you hear and if it lines up with the Word of God 10 times out of 10 it's from the Holy Spirit so and if not it's an act of love Daniel always says that too it's, it's always out of love so even if you get it wrong you're trying from your heart in a pure place then you really never did get it wrong so yeah, yeah just be encouraged with that for all you overthinkers out there that are like me <laughs> yeah She's not a biggest, over, big overthinker like she used to be. She's a lot better. So that's what's beautiful. So, um, yeah, for an example, as we were sitting in the car, and I said, I believe that we're going to see somebody with a blue shirt that needs mm -hmm. prayer. Well, we're walking behind somebody. I'd almost forgotten. Heather goes, oh, there's a blue shirt. <laughs> and as you guys see in the beginning of the video, we prayed for a guy with a blue shirt and his girl. Yeah. And we got words of knowledge for him. So, anyway, it's the kingdom, right? Yep. And we love Jesus. Now I'm going to take this lady and I'm going to continue kingdom work, okay? Oh, peace. So Father, we stand in agreement for that. We pray that Jesus will be the centerpiece of the country and that peace will come among us, Lord. And uh, Father, also just pray for him, Lord. Use him mightily, Lord. And, and I, I'm feeling like you got many ideas, man. And I just pray, Lord, that you'll center him on the one idea that's going to push him forward into the destiny and purpose that he needs on his life. And I... Uh, Tell me if this makes sense, Jay. When I hear follow in the footsteps of family, mm -hmm. does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. On what, your dad? Mm -hmm. uh, mom. 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 What is she doing? Uh, right now, she's walking right now. Is she a prayer so, warrior? Yeah. She is? Yeah. Okay, so follow in her footsteps, man. You know, there's no reason I should hear that. But I heard follow in the footsteps of the family. Mm -hmm. So I just bless you. I bless your family, and I bless you coming and going, man, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen, Have bro. Have a blessed day, man. Yeah, you too, bro. Bless you, man. Bless you. Yeah, man. World peace. Well, you know, people ask for world peace, you know. And uh, I don't think we're going to see any of that until that theocracy is placed on the earth by Jesus Christ, you know. So world peace will come then if you're praying for it. But we bring the kingdom. So I'm just going to keep bringing the kingdom. And I'm going to bring peace with the Prince of Peace. Amen. <laughs> So we command right now, every demonic attack coming against her health, I command you to leave her body. I command you to loose her. All those curses that come through the generations of health issues, I command it to go. I command her thyroid be healed right now in Jesus' name. And I, cu I curse this CMT right now in Jesus' name. I curse the diagnosis. I curse where it came from. 
and I command complete healing. Can I touch your head? I command right now all the neuropathy to go. I command the brain to fire correctly. I command no issues in the body right now. And I also feel this, I feel like you've been holding the weight of family. And I know you said that for your sons, but you've been holding their weight, their burdens as a mother. So I command right now that burden bearing spirit to come off of you in Jesus name, that spirit of heaviness that's came on it. And I hear the Lord saying this too, don't blame yourself for the past. Don't blame yourself for mistakes because you are not the reason. It was not your fault. You stood firm. When people walked away from you, you still stood. And you're a strong woman, but sometimes the strong can become weak. And I hear in this season, the Lord is going to start the restoration process. He's going to start the healing that is needed. And He's going to even get your sons. You're going to even come, hear your sons come to you and say, hey, mom, we know. We know that it wasn't you. We know that you were fighting. We heard God heard your prayers, and here we are today because of the prayers that you have prayed. So, Father, I thank you for her sons, and I thank you for this new season, and I thank you for this healing that is in her body right now. And I thank you for the doctor's report being 100% positive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Does that make sense? Wow. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. Wow. That is good. I must have hit some things, huh? Oh, you did. He spoke all right. He did? He did. Hey, how are you? This is my friend Jenny. Jenny. She's also a believer as well. Oh, man. I thought I was going to have to call you and say, did you stop me? No, the Lord stopped me here. Do, do you need any prayer? Well, we always need prayer. Yes. Anything specific, though? Like I prayed specifically for her? Yes. I think you're going to be surprised at your diagnosis. Ooh. You got a healing diagnosis. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, we want to lose weight, that's Oh, yeah. But I'm getting ready to let a family stay with me. Okay. Because they're down, really down, and they need. So I just can't keep moving. And they need a place to stay in order to save money. Can I just pray for you? What's your name? Jenny. Watch this, Jenny. Father, I thank you for Jenny. Jenny will do anything for anybody, Jenny will give the shirt off her back to anybody. But Lord, I can also see that, that that mercy gift she has can be abused. So Father, I pray right now, you close all doors to anybody that would abuse her gifting. But you're also a leader and you have an entrepreneurial spirit. You have ideas, you have vision. You know where you're going, you know what you're doing. And when you see that thing, you go for it and nothing can stop you. The Lord has put that in you, but also the Lord says, let people be around you that can help you towards the vision. So, Father, I thank you for trusting her, and I thank you, Lord, that she's going to do awesome things. And the business ideas that you put in her will come to pass, and that vision will manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, wow. What is your name? I'm Daniel. Daniel, thank you. Is that good? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, it started raining again out here, but, man, we had some awesome encounters. Jesus is still doing what he said he'd do 2,000 years ago when he's touching people by the power of his Holy Spirit through his obedient servants like me and you if you're watching. I hope that word of knowledge thing that me and Heather told you guys earlier helps you out and you guys step out and hear the voice of the Lord. So anyway, that's another one in the books. I'll see you guys on the next episode.